today I'm going to talk about the literature reveal of factors affecting drying and wetting soil water characteristic curves of sandy soil. Uh, this paper is, uh, was written by Fred Lott et al. and published in Canadian Geotechnical Journal in 2004. My presentation will include introduction, test results, and discussions. A little bit of introduction of FWCC management. There are, several, uh, there are several test methods to measure soil water characteristic curves, um, such as tappy cells and uh, pressure plate. In this paper, tappy cells were used for draining SWCC measurement. It consists of a saturated high, entry, high, uh, high air entry ceramic disc, and to use this disc to separate it, um, the air and the water chambers. You know, a closed vessel. You can see it from this picture, and uh, apply increments air entry, uh, air pressure uh, from here to to get uh, drying SWCC. Uh, for wetting SWCC measurement, because the ceramic disc offers too high a uh, too great uh, resistance for the water to flow into the soil sample, and uh, tiny cells are not uh, suitable for wetting SWCC measurement. A uh, capillary rice open tube uh, was used in this study and uh, used this e equipment to measure, um, to measure negative pool, wa pool water pressure and uh, that is equal to matrix suction uh, because the air pressure in this tube is uh, atmospheric. Two modeling equations were discussed in this paper. They are VG and FS equation. Mm. These two equations um, are used to describe highly nonlinear soil water behavior and uh, fit test data in this paper pretty well. Um, a little bit uh, information about FS equation. It's a uh, similar form to the VG model and uh, is based on consideration of pool size distribution, which is an important factor affecting soil water behavior. And uh, there are three parameters in FS equation. The first one, A, is related to the air entry value. The uh, uh, M is related to residual soil suction. And the last one, N, is related to the slope uh, of SWCC between air entry value and the residual soil suction. Uh, the relationship between SWCC and the fitting parameters. Mm, this, uh, this graph is uh, soil parameter A in FS, FS equation versus air entry value for drain SWCC. And uh, we, can <coughs> we can see from this graph the, the higher the entry, air entry value, the greater the soil parameter A. Uh, for the relationship between soil parameter M and uh, residual soil suction, uh, we can find the soil suction, uh, the residual soil suction increases, the water, uh, the soil parameter M decreases. And uh, they also found the, the steeper the slope of SWCC, the, the larger the parameter M. Next, I'm going to talk about the, dry, the correlation between drying SWCC and the grain size distribution curve. Uh, from, from, this, uh, from this graph, um, they found the, the grain size parameter of soil increases, the air entry value and uh, the residual size section decreases. And uh, the, the difference between air entry value and uh, residual size section. In this graph is the, the gap between these two lines decrease, uh, following a decrease of green size parameter. Uh, <coughs> it's the uh, in this In this paper, they use a new concept of uh, total hysteresis to describe the difference between these two curves and uh, use the area between 
drawing and wiring SWCC to quantify the total heat releases from the um, and uh, that means the larger the area, the greater the total hysteresis. From the total hysteresis quantification, they found the larger grain size parameter, the smaller the total hysteresis of soil. And uh, with a slope of grain size distribution curve increasing, the total hysteresis of soil decreases. Discussions. There are two limitations uh, in this paper. The first one is soil suction measurement. That means the, the maximum uh, value measure, uh, the maximum value of soil suction determined by happy pressure cell is less than 100 kilopascals. So there is not enough data to describe the consistency between mod modeling feeding curves and the path behavior of soil during high suction. The second one is use limited data to get the relationship between SWCC and uh, porosity. And that indicates a large porosity gives us more air entry value for the zinc soil, but not for the, the old kind of soil. So the general relationship between SWCC and porosity needs, um, still needs future discussion. Implication. For uh, geotechnical practice, uh, sometimes it is time consuming to measure SWCC. So, uh, predict SWCC from green set distribution might be an efficient way to, uh, to get SWCC in geotechnical engineering. Use the uh, three known parameters for different types of soil and uh, the information about green set distribution. We can get uh, SWCC from the correlation between soil water characteristic curve and uh, green side distribution curve, and uh, that will be much easier than that testing. And that's that's all opened up for questions. <laughs>